We want the road users to understand that we are only for safety, for their own benefit, but not to harm them. This was disclosed to Delegate TV by Kubo Era Commander of Abuja Directorate of Road Traffic Services, Engineer Water Amichi, while speaking on the relationship between the officials of DRTS and road users. Our relationship with the road users is just like a husband and a wife relationship. You know, no matter how you love your wife, no matter how your wife loves his husband, sometimes you have uh, challenges, sometimes you have misunderstanding. But however, the relationship with something that keeps improving and will keep trying to make it to improve, you understand? Irrespective of the situation, the conditions, the condition we are in now, very harsh, but however, we also try to make the road users understand that we are for safety and safety alone. It's for their own benefits. We're on the road not to hurt them, we're on the road not to harm them, we're on the road not to not to hurt them in any way, but to make life easy for them to make sure that they have easy way, easy passage, and it's for the generality of the safety of everybody. Commenting on the most common defaults by the road users, Engineer Water said on Lancet driver driving on the highway has been on increase. The most common uh, default is the issue of driver's license. From just as you asked from, the, from January to now, the issue of uh, driving without driver's license that is a licensed driver driving has been on increase you find out that most of them don't know the value of having driver's license they don't understand that driver's license is an authority for you to drive now if you don't have it you don't have business to drive you don't have business to be behind the wheel it's just like a certificate. This and the relationship is just like a husband and wife. So most times you see people just because they don't have, they have expired papers. They have expired papers. When you stop them, you want to enforce the traffic law. You they will do everything possible in order to uh, escape, in order to to avoid being uh, arrested. Most of them, when they notice they don't have driver's license, if you try to stop them to check for driver's license and the papers, they do everything possible in order to escape. Uh, meanwhile, in this case, they will be endangering the lives of the officers in question. Speaking for that, you know what I said, traffic defaulters had no business paying fine to officials of VIO on the road. Uh, we, the way we operate, you don't have any business paying any fine on the road. We have our banks, the official bank uh, that is approved by the government, where you go to pay these fines. And so, like from the, our new regulations, some of these uh, uh, traffic uh, offenses, says that the vehicle should be impounded and uh, we have a new uh, listing now. We have our training institute which is located at Lube. From the new regulation, some of these offenses stipulate that the offender or the motorist should be referred for lectures at our training institute in Lube, after which he is given a fine which he will go to bank to make his payment and afterwards the vehicle is released to him. We have a new regulation just like I said and uh, it's, it's not, uh, people are not very much aware of this. Or however, it has been the implementation has started through our mobile courts. You know, formerly in our old uh, regulation, we have uh, if you don't have driver's license, you are not qualified to drive, and you're driving, uh, they fine is just uh, 10,000. But in the new regulation, it's not like that, it's 20,000 now. And if 
Proventure they stopped you on the road, you are stopped and you don't have, you are not in possession of your driver's license at that particular point in time. Before you were given 24 hours to produce it, after which your vehicle is released. But in now, the regulation says that you'll be given a fine of 5,000 naira and you are directed or you are asked also to go and produce it within 24 hours. In any case, like I said previously, if you're a licensed driver driving and you are stopped, what I mean by a licensed driver, somebody that, that has not processed his driver's license, that doesn't have driver's license, if you are stopped, the, in the new regulation, we are, we are supposed to we are supposed to ban you from obtaining driver's license for as much as three years. You'll be banned for as much as three years from obtaining driver's license. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the new regulations. So, Why I'm so particular about driver's license because this is the tool for you to drive. This is an authority for you to drive. And on the issue of roadworthiness, like for private vehicle, you are supposed to in every year, every one year, every one a year cycle of your vehicle, you are supposed to go for a computerized check to know the roadworthiness of your vehicle, to certify the roadworthiness of your vehicle. Then for commercial vehicles, you have every six months to update that. You understand? We have computerized centers located at different points in Abuja where you anywhere anytime you renew your papers please at that point of renewal you are not given a roadworthiness certificate what is expected of you is to go to any of the computerized centers any of our computerized centers and obtain your roadworthiness certificate of course that will not be given to you until a test is carried out in your vehicle and is certified that your vehicle is roadworthy. For effective service delivery, Engineer Water outlined what the Directorate of Road Traffic Services needed from the federal government. We need the, uh, uh, welfare improvement in welfare, uh, working materials like the patrol vehicles, official vehicles, so, so many demands and uh, also demand from the journalists too for greater enlightenment to the motoring public. I think you people also have a very large uh, role to play in this aspect too, on enlightening, uh, enlightening the uh, public uh, motoring. Message is first, please, before you embark on driving, process your driver's license, go through the right process, go through the driving school first, obtain the certificates, come to designated centers for driver's license, obtain your driver's license after going through tests. That is one. Secondly, VIOA as it's popularly called and your friends their objective and mission on the road is to make the road safer for you. They are not there to hurt you. They are not there to harm you. They are your friends. So anytime you see them, anytime they stop you, please stop. All they demand for you, give to them. Driver's license, your papers, your fire extinguisher, your triangle, your tires. Always make sure that your tires are of a standard, always make sure that you don't buy expired tires, don't use, uh, don't buy used tires because we've seen in many instances where you'll be driving a tire, in many instances you'll be driving and the tire will just bust. And if you ask the person, you say, Yeah, you just bought it two days ago, you just bought it three days ago, but these are expired tires. Also, lending his voice on the relationship between officers of VIO. And the road users, the assistant chief road traffic officers at the Rawan Command, and Mercy Jerry said there was issue of illegal parking at the Rawan Aziz, emphasizing that the Directorate of Road Traffic Services needed modern technological gadgets 
that would track traffic offenders rather than chasing after them. In the area right here, there's so much uh, concern of uh, illegal parking because they cause so much uh, chaos in this uh, environment. But notwithstanding, we always be here to make sure that uh, we take charge because they don't, don't just want to comply with the rules and regulations of uh, the environment. They take advantage of uh, uh, the, what they use, their weapons and whatsoever. But notwithstanding, we always on ground from morning to night to make sure that we clear the road in this very vicinity. Because it's so obvious that we have so bad eggs, so much bad eggs here in area one. So and that is why the directory make us to make sure that we be on ground from morning to that uh, nine o'clock to make sure that the route here is clear for other road users so that they can have access to other access in Abuja. But area one comprises of so much routes that people have to go through. But the cause of uh, the recalcitrant uh, uh, drivers, they have made area one as if it's uh, uh, something that they must be able to be blocking the road every aspect, everywhere, and say that there will be no access road. But we always be on our ground, on our toes, to make sure that we take charge of the uh, environment here in Irawa. Some of them, their vehicles are on road water. So much, you know, rickety vehicles we see here. And some of them are our lastest driver. Some of them don't even have particulars to drive. But we are doing our best to see that when we get rid of them, we we'll bring them to this uh, uh, vicinity, this very compound, and then make sure that they fix some of them, that their vehicles, their uh, trafficators, their brake lights, their headlights are off. We we'll make sure they fix them before they leave this uh, compound. So that's what we did. Then those that does not have a license, we make sure that they go to Mabuchi and do their needful, then come back and show us the receipt that they are on it, on the process. And the, those that don't have particulars to drive, we make sure that they fix their particulars here before we can allow that vehicle. And we, there are other charges anyway, that when you fix the defect and do your papers, or your license will also give you the penalties to pay. But those penalties will not minimize and say that we'll be able to see how we can minimize the penalties for you to be able to do that. Next time, you'll not be able to do that. Why some, we refer them to Lube for, you know, training, for short training, so that they will teach them how to use the road and how to maintain their vehicles. And that's what we do here in the area one. They need to know that they need to equip us the more. We need more equipment so that they can even develop and put things that we need to, like developed countries. We don't need to be chasing vehicles. We don't need to be chasing vehicles up and down. You know, there are some gadgets, gadgets that we need to fix. And you see them, they will just, you know, see that they are offenders and they need to come and uh, pay their fine and so is, uh, everything is certified. But in this regard, you know, although we are getting there, so it's unacceptable, it's unethical and it's also unapprovable. So we don't allow, we don't do that. You have to come to the office and pay the stipulated amount you'll be booked and you go and pay it where you are supposed to pay and not to an officer or to begin to say that you will you know exchange you know uh, money on the road or be, tra be doing a transaction when it comes to uh, uh, when it comes to uh, office uh, uh, things to be carried out or when it comes to offenses so we don't allow that it's uh, unapprovable and it's unacceptable to the organization we need to be equipped with uh, some of the gadgets that we need to put on the road so that we can be able to, this motorist can be easy for us to see that uh, we get rid of them. So, and also 
uh, I think uh, uh, we are doing the make sure that uh, we generate revenue so much. So they need to also motivate the uh, the, the, the officers, I men, or the directory. The government should motivate, and you know, that by increasing, you know, a way of increasing uh, salary, or try to see that at least they they do us like other paramilitary, so that we can come up and now know that yes, we are equipped to do some certain things, and with that motivation, we will do more. We will do more because if we can be able to be uh, autonomous and be able to be able to be our our salary or our uh, uh, what we receive is be upgraded i think we'll do more more than what we are doing in order to avoid being a victim of traffic photos drivers were advised to always adhere to the rules of engagement while driving augustus oche if any delegate tv abuja Abide by the rules of engagement in order to protect.